Yes, I'm dead serious. The title wasn't just clickbait. Okay, it was, but two things can be true at once. The title is clickbait, but I do truly believe the Ruger Mark IV 2245 is the one gun everyone should have in their collection. It's a 22 long rifle. Honestly, I can end the video right there, just based on that alone. Everyone should have at least one 22 long rifle gun in their collection. It's arguably one of the most fun rounds to shoot considering its recoil is like a pussycat, but it's still very much lethal. I have nothing against paintball or airsoft, but there is something about a lethal round that shoots as soft as a paintball or airsoft gun that makes it that much more cool. Not to mention, it's generally cheap and easy to find except, you know, when the country is dealing with one of the biggest ammo shortages in the history of man. Right now in the gun industry, there's what I like to call a tactical Kardashian effect. Much the same way every Instagram model looks like some variation of Kim Kardashian, there was a time where every gun kinda, sorta, maybe, just a little, looked kinda like a Glock. The Mark IV, on the other hand, looks like a gun that Bill Burr would use as his character in The Mandalorian, except those are Ruger Mark III's, but I digress. Oh, and did I mention how awesome the color combo black and gold is on a gun? My Ruger Mark IV has the perfect balance of black and gold, where 90% of the gun is black, but the 10% that is, the trigger and the barrel, is gold. This gun looks futuristically retro, which is admittedly an oxymoron and also a hard thing to pull off, and I've only seen it done correctly with the new Mercedes G-Wagon and the new Porsche 911s. Suffice it to say, the Mark IV is a fun gun to look at. It's a look that doesn't intimidate new shooters, but is refreshing to the hardcore gun people with Glock fatigue. The features of the Mark IV 2245 light just make shooting a 22 out of a handgun that much more enjoyable. It has a fixed front sight with an adjustable rear iron sight, which are useless to me because the Picatinny rail that comes on the guns lets me put red dots on them like the Leupold Delta Point Pro. I don't care how you feel about red dots on handguns, if nothing, Shooting a handgun with the red dot on it is fun when you're not trying to be action Jackson and just shooting for the pleasure of shooting. Then there's the threaded barrel which allows you to put a suppressor on the Mark IV 2245. I have mine outfitted with one of the smallest suppressors I've seen, the Biddy suppressor from Bowers. Notwithstanding how awesome the suppressor is on its own, the ability to suppress a 22 long rifle just adds a 10 more points to its fun factor. 22 long rifles aren't that loud to begin with, but when you suppress it, you start encroaching on airsoft and paintball territory for sound. And again, knowing that the 22 long rifle is a real bullet, yet shoots as soft as it does, and now being really quiet, just puts it in a whole other class of guns that are fun to shoot. In and of itself, the 22 long rifle is a dirty little round that will gunk up your gun with the quickness. Add a suppressor to the mix and the inside of your gun will start looking like the bottom of the feet of a group of girls drunk walking down downtown after the club lets out. In short, you'll be forced to clean your gun on a regular basis, which can get annoying, but the takedown on the Mark IV is so easy that that alone makes having to clean your gun a non-issue. It's literally a one button takedown. Unlike some other 22 long rifle handguns, including some older Ruger models, where you need a degree in mechanical engineering to take the gun down, the Mark IV 2245 also has one of the easier charging mechanisms I've had the pleasure of using. It's unorthodox, but it works and gives the gun a different feel compared to other guns with typical charging mechanisms. The way the Mark IV shoots is the main reason why I believe everyone should have at least one Mark IV in their collection. When I was filming this video, I wasn't in the best of moods. I was stressed out and my allergies were driving me crazy, kind of like they are now. But while I was shooting a Mark IV, I seemingly forgot about all of the things that were bothering me. I've always said the 1911 is one of the most ergonomic handguns on the planet which in turn makes the Mark IV one of the most ergonomic guns on the planet because the grip and the grip angle are very much like a 1911. The grip itself is pretty simple, but sometimes less is more, and here, less is a lot more. Sure, the 22 doesn't have a lot of recoil, but the ergonomics of the grip still stood out to me. The trigger of the Mark IV isn't the best in the world, but it is really good because it is so predictable. 
Sometimes light triggers can surprise you and overly heavy gritty triggers are just the pain. The trigger on a Mark IV has a smooth take up and the pressure required to break the shot requires just a deliberate press and it breaks clean. The reset is just like the take up and break, predictable. Not too light, not too strong. We're talking Goldilocks type of trigger. The Mark IV has an internal cylindrical bolt so it doesn't have to have a moving slide. Because you don't have to have the mass of the slide moving back and forth while you're shooting, the Mark IV is a really smooth shooting gun. Yes, part of that bolt reciprocates out the back end of the gun, but the weight and the mass of the bolt is much lighter than the weight and the mass of the slide going back and forth, and you barely notice it. Technical mumbo jumbo aside, the Mark IV is an absolute pleasure to shoot. There is no way your mood doesn't improve while you're shooting the Mark IV, especially when it's suppressed and has a red dot on it. Long story short, everyone should own the Ruger Mark IV because it makes you happy. Honestly, shooting any of my guns make me happy. Even the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan and that thing is terrifying. It's the way the Mark IV makes you happy. It sneaks up on you. One minute you're plinking away and the next you're grinning from ear to ear because the gun feels so great in your hands, the trigger pull is smooth and predictable, the suppressor mitigates all of the concussion and noise so you can clearly hear the bullets careen against the still targets and it's low recoil coupled with the red dot just make it feel like you're playing a first person shooter with auto aim. In a perfect world, you'd wake up, make your breakfast, have a cup of coffee, Grab your Mark IV, sit on your deck with an awesome view, and just plink away until your heart was content. One can only dream. In 1835 in Texas, soon after a weapons confiscation request, the ladies of the settlement hastily made a flag to fly over a cannon being requested to be confiscated. The flag featured a black cannon in the center, the words come and take it below, and one star above the requested weapon to be confiscated representing the Lone Star State. Today, there was another growing gun confiscation request in all 50 of our states requesting to confiscate our AR-15s. We want the government to know what would happen if they tyrannically passed their so-called assault weapons ban. I will not comply is a symbolization of defiance against politicians, anti-gunners, and any other tyrannical entity looking to deprive you or your Second Amendment right as put forth in the Constitution of the United States. All right, now we have the performance mask at shop.mrcolonnoir.com. And no, these aren't the masks that suffocate you to death. You can breathe in this mask. Um, it's lightweight material, very high quality. You know, you know how I do. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button. If you're looking for where to purchase your defund gun control shirts, hats, and drinkware, there's a link in the description section of this video.